dad and lad time out on a, a wild camp up uh, started in Grasmere just come through the nice little village there and we're headed just gonna do, we're gonna do five mile and go up onto the tops near high rise I think it's high rise or high style I'll get them mixed up up uh, up that way anyway let's take it nice and easy it's nice and early nice little honesty box first time out since lockdown what a glorious day mid-april we're headed up between the gap up there that's but this is what we're on it's part of the course to course walk we decided to do this but it's in reverse we're doing it in reverse on the course to course walk you come down down this way all them clouds are looking a bit darker now up there they say it's forecast some possible showers this afternoon it's not always right. It'd just be nice to come to the lakes and stay dry for a change. Or at least until we get the tents up anyway. Little duck. And two having a little sleep. Snooze. Crystal clear water. I hope he's anchored himself, otherwise he's going to be downstream from his girlfriend. Yeah. I'm carrying just over 11 kilos today. It's a bit of a test, I brought more than we need. Just to get up to something respectable weight, because uh, we're hoping to do the coast to coast this July. We need to get some practice in. Obviously I want the bag as light as possible. But if we're carrying three days worth of food at a time, probably 11 kilos is uh, achievable, but anything lighter might be difficult, unless you spend an absolute fortune on lightweight gear, which I've got some, but not everything. Look at all the tadpoles. They need to be moving that way, don't they? Towards the deeper section. <laughs> this work starts getting steep now as we go further up. And we're going to get our water from the last opportunity at the highest point instead of carrying it all up we've only got 600 mil each just to get up here and then we'll filter the rest another lovely little spot part way up a nice little well camping spot just behind Sam we've just uh, turn around we've just filled our drinking water bottles mm. And we'll get the rest of our water further up, hopefully. Yeah, beautiful little spot. That's uh, Helm Crag in the distance. And so you've got Grasmere just below. So this is the low route for the coast to coast. And that's the high route, which takes in a few Wayne rights. Finishing off at Elm Crag. And then after that, behind, you've got Fairfield and over towards Grisdale Tarn, and then you drop into Patterdale.
This will be the last pull up to green up edge where we take a left to I rise. I'm sure you bring you back when we get up there. Oh, that was a pull up. We're up at green up edge and behind me is the Borrowdale Valley where you come up from on the coast to coast and then spin you round and then carry on down to Grassmere but we are going to go up here and go up to high rise that way so yeah this is green up edge and then Borrowdale so I take it that's Buttermere in the distance Top of high rise, gorgeous view. Sam's bagged another way and right. Wasn't intentional, didn't intend coming here. But since we set off early and marched up, we're here. It's absolutely stunning. Hardly any wind. And you can see in the distance, hopefully, that's where we'll be walking up by. That's bottom here, on all the way up the valleys and over green up edge and all the way into the distance. So we come down to uh, Ash Crag to see if there's anywhere suitable down here, but it doesn't look the best. It's a bit boggy and it's been dry for a few days, so we may end up walking round to. Cordale Tarn, but it's a bit of a another slog. We'll have a scout round. set up. I've been here before, I've been here twice before actually. It's the first time for Sam with his new tent that we're going to try out. The Alp Kit so Soloist. Nice lightweight tent. Hopefully to do some long distance walks with three season tents. Oh, it seems alright. I'll show you what goodies I've got in my little food pouch. We're not going posh dehydrated meals this time. We've got pot noodle in a bag. Some super noodles if we need them. Pepperoni. Mug shot. Some nuts. Lots of coffees. And that's breakfast. Only until we get into Grassmere in the morning and we can have a proper breakfast. But it'll just put us on till then. Plus they're very tasty. And some wipes, some tea bags. Paracetamol, lighter, knife, hot chocolate and salt and peppers in the bottom. And see, courtesy of Mackey's. And my spoon. That's all, not, not all for later, but just bought spare in case we got hungry. And I got a nice kind of IPA for later. And a little bit of wine. And some poor lad's got an out, have you? I forgot, forgot to get him some cork. Never mind. Have a nausea in Sam's tent. This will be the first and last time it's this tidy, won't it, Sam? O E X Leviathan sleeping bag. So it says it's like comfort rating to minus nine, but it won't be. 
but it'll probably be fine till sub zero anyway. Sam's food is all in his little help kit bag. He's got same as me, just without the beer. <sighs> Morning guys, cold one last night, a uh, bit of frost on the tent, Let's show you. Oh, my gas has just died, <laughs> it's not quite boiled that, I've got a spur canister. Yeah, I've got some ice on the tent. <coughs> well, I vented the tent as much as possible last night and it was slightly damp, so I don't think you can complain too much under the circumstances Sam says he's fine just trying to air off the sleeping bag a bit if I pack it away what a gorgeous day we're going to have I need that bro. There's a tiny bit in. It was almost boiled. That's <laughs> all it needed. <laughs> You're not having a brew, Sam, no. Sam. You need to be getting up, pal. Yeah. All packed up. And the obligatory video of Leave No Trace. Apart from Sam's not picked his breakfast up yet. Off the floor, but that's it. All spotless. I'm gonna walk down and get some uh, some breakfast in Ambleside. Have a look in a couple of the camping shops. See what uh, see what we didn't know we needed. All right, bring you back on the way down. I think. How gorgeous is that? Almost like glass. Eight o'clock in the morning. Our neighbours have just woke up. Mind you, they arrived late. There you go, Easdale Tarn. That's a good wild camping spot. Not too far, short walk. And right above, right up there, is Cordale Tarn. You just wouldn't know it with her. Right, that might be us. You enjoyed it, Sam? Yeah. yeah. Right, until next time. Cheers. <laughs>